to Cooking with Jim. I'm Jim, and today on the show, we have my best friend, Derek. Welcome to the show, Derek. Thank you. And Thank here you. today, you're going to be making your grandfather's famous popcorn. Uh, it's, my, it's my recipe. I didn't, I didn't like his recipe that much. I'm going to make my recipe okay. by making popcorn. Okay, let's see it. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need something to cook with. So I have this slow cooker here, so I'm going to use this. I forgot I was supposed to invite Stan this here. Stan. Stan. Hey, how's it going? Hey. You're going to need a, a lubricant, like, like vegetable oil or canola oil. We got Chef's Patrick uh, buttermilk dressing. It's gluten free. Great, because I'm allergic to gluten. And then you're going to want, you're going to get some spices. You're going to want some, uh, some garlic. And you're gonna want some rosemary, a little flavor of India. Taste from the east. Cumin, of course. I guess cumin. Red pepper, naturally. You're gonna want some cilantro. You got no cilantro? I don't have any cilantro. Maybe some celery salt. We'll try that instead. We'll try that. Oh, and of course, you're gonna need. You're gonna need your popcorn kernels. So I recommend you use Anderson's popcorn kernels you find at the grocery store. These are Strubel's popcorn kernels. German, it's a German corn. This is not gonna be that good. You're gonna want Anderson's. So I don't really need to need you, Stan. I don't really have anything for you to do. So, so thanks. Thanks. Thanks for coming by, Stan. See ya. So the first thing you're gonna want is put your lubricant in there. So give it a good one of these. Just a boom. Pick one of these. You want, you're gonna put your corn in. Just give it a good hand, you know, that's, that's probably good. Yep. You want a good amount of corn, maybe you're making it for some friends. Something like that. I'm usually just making for one. You gotta put your seasonings in. You got your crushed red pepper. Give this a few, a few good shakes there. You can't have too much crushed red pepper. Rosemary. Give that a good amount. Like that. California garlic. I recommend California as opposed to other states. Smell that garlic. You got your celery star. I don't know about this. I don't think this is gonna be that good. But I don't know. You gotta have your cumin. Give that a bunch of good ones. You really smell this here. It's really, it's really pungent. Give this some, give this some, uh, some stir in there. All right, mix that up. Pop on your top. Set this for about uh, about half hour, and once you hear it popping, you know you got the you got more. I think popcorn is just about ready. I love popcorn because it's just it's just nice, inexpensive snack. If you're having financial difficulties, like I've been having the last couple of years, um, you eat a lot of popcorn. I think it's just about ready. So there it is. It's looking good. I think we're ready. Uh, we're ready for a taste test. Uh, so so Jim. Let's okay. Try. Let's try it. All right. Oh, I forgot one thing. You gotta have the Italian, the Italian seasoning salt. Put that back in there. And feel a little, a little bit, you know, a little bit. All right. Give it a taste. That's good. That's good. Corn. That's good corn. Pretty good. Probably could have made better than that. Didn't, didn't know you had that. It was right there the whole time. Why don't, why don't you say anything? We bought it together, we split it. Well, we got this. It's okay. 